What's up YouTube, Hobo Nickel Barbecue coming back with you again. We're gonna start a new series called Crock-Pot Cooking for Two or Less. Uh, I just picked up this small two-quart Crock-Pot uh, Target. It was $8, I think, for the red one. $9 if I got black, I'll save a buck. So I have a recipe that I've made many times before. Um, I'll show you the ingredients. Uh, get you some honey-baked ham. We've got a half pound here. Uh, I'm just cooking for myself, so that's plenty. If you're gonna cook for two, you might want a whole pound. Uh, next ingredient, um, I'm using King's Hawaiian sauce, the uh, original sweet pineapple. You can use any barbecue sauce you want. Um, optional ingredient, uh, get you an onion and cut it in there. Um, and the last thing is you wanna serve it on a some kind of sweet roll, King's Hawaiian roll. So I will get everything set up and show you how we do it. It's really simple and it really tastes great. Say it a bit. All right guys, we're back. Um, as you can see, we've got, I've got the ham laid out here. What I like to do is just roll this up like this, get your knife and just start slicing your ribbons. I always ask for them to cut it really thin anyways and then slicing this into these ribbons like this will give you good pieces when they're in the crock pot. Um, this stuff will break down even more. It's a really good thing. So just get your pieces cut how you want them. That's about how I like them. And then just as easy as that, we just start putting them in the crock pot. Now what I like to do is put in about half and then take my sauce, dump some in there. That way I kind of get a balance of a little bit of meat, a little bit of sauce. We'll take the rest, put it on top. Now this is where if you had an onion, I would cut it up real small and put it in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sauce here, just add a little bit more. Get you something to stir this up with. Just kind of get it in there, stir it up going. And just put the lid on. Um, I typically run this for four to six hours. If I'm in a hurry, I'll put it on high for four. If I'm not in a hurry, I'll put it on low for six. It's all up to you. All right, YouTube, I will bring you back about part way through so you can see how this looks. Bye. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see, everything's coming along here great. I personally am going to add just a smidget more barbecue sauce just to give it something to make sure that we're not burning. You can see we got a couple little scorch marks around the outside. We'll get this stirred in. Like I said, we're about the two minute or the two hour mark. So right now it's edible. I mean, if you think about it, you took ham. And you took barbecue sauce but just getting the flavors to meld I like to try to do it for a couple hours so you know we can already see right here it tastes amazing so I'm gonna let this go for a little bit longer and probably another hour or so we'll bring it back and have a tasting see you in a bit all right guys we're about four hours into cooking um, everything's cooked up we made two sandwiches These things are amazing. Cooked up some fries with some fry sauce. If you don't know what fry sauce is, I will hit up a card on one of these two sides. Not sure. Anyways, this is a great recipe. I, I recommend you do it. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell. Uh, tell your friends on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, you know the deal. Later, bye.